Then it's a body lashing. Get your tushy on that thing. A day that starts with my butt in a sling. <laughs> and the sling up in the air. My Getting the job done Double comes kill. first. Being entertaining is second, and safety a distant third. We're absolutely in the middle of a ball secure. Time the leader. Gain the lead. You can't really talk about safety without talking about risk. And the thing about risk is, it's everywhere. Not just underground in confined spaces or on a factory floor. Risk is up in the air, it's in the water, it's in your bathroom, it's in your kitchen, it's in your car, it's in lightning, it's in gravity. Risk is basically Mother Nature's middle name. You ever tried telling Mother Nature that safety is more important than her? Yeah, good luck with that. I was in Louisiana helping install a giant billboard made of metal during a lightning storm. Risky? That was like getting in Mother Nature's face and sticking out your tongue. I don't know why I'm laughing. I'm surrounded by high tension wires, 30 feet up in the air, holding a piece of welding stuff. I'll move out of your way. Woo! Ball. Ball. Yeah, that lightning Ball. I saw, or am I just having a stroke? There it is, right yeah. there. Yeah, you better hurry up. Right. Right. My choice would have been to quit instead of hurry up, but I'm not the foreman. All right. Ball. 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 What the heck was that? Be quiet with lightning. That was you. That lightning, if it, it, if it uh -uh. hits you. We're all dead, man. Perfect. I'll see you tomorrow. Pending Everything death is a deal breaker for me, but the next day, the weather threw us another curveball. So, you know, I'm not a weather man, but I swear it's getting weird. The wind is blowing, and that's, that's a dick that you're picking a sign up. The rest of it was just play. This is oh, it. We're about to take a ride on a 16,000 pound wind tossed kite dangling oh, precariously stolen. from a cable. Should be fun. Eight tons swinging around there on a little cable. So this thing looks like it's actually anchored, but it's not. It's hovering. Ball secure. Pull that way, Ball Craig. dropped. You know, this is a game of uh, millimeters. Millimeters. And it can be aggravating when you get it so close and can't get it picked up. Got to swing that way. Tell Brian and, and Craig to pull. All right, that's good. Ball this is literally secure. like some kind of crazy-ass carnival game. All right. Let it down real easy. Just a little bit. We got, we got one in. Come on. Brian got a pull, man. How do you muscle 19,000 pounds an extra inch? Look, stick that spud wrench in that hole, man. Pry it where you want it. You're kidding me, right? Yeah, man. Look at it. I just moved 19,000 pounds with a spud wrench. <laughs> they finally gave it handy. <laughs> the bolts are in. Now we have an even tougher Five job of attaching remaining. the nuts. Down there. You're kidding. That's the only way to get to them? <laughs> You bad to the bone, buddy. <laughs> I'm impressed. I'm impressed. <laughs> You're impressed. Baby, there ain't a lot of people that do that. <laughs> it's crazy. Did you hear that? Gino just said his job was crazy. Even though he's wearing his harness and his steel-toed boots and adhering to all the proper safety gear. So here's the question. If your job is crazy by definition and you do it anyway, how can safety possibly be first? For Gino, it isn't. For Gino, getting the job done comes first. He'd have been very comfortable 100 years ago aboard the Star of India, sailing around Cape Horn, back when safety first and good luck pretty much meant the same thing. Preserving old ships takes old-fashioned methods, like tar for the rigging and the tiny trapeze for the guy doing the tarring. So you just sit. Am I tied into this somehow? It's a body lashing. Get your tushy on that thing. Doesn't seem like much here, Mike, but it's going to seem like even less while you're up there. Well, I mean, honestly, this this looks just weather-worn and... It's traditional. ...boogerish and, and, you know... It's traditional. We've loved it a lot. Heave away. Haul around. Watch your bucket on... Uh, <laughs> it's high. Jay Very high. John, this Victory. is crazy high, dude. You've only got another 20 feet or so to go. That's great. Where is your harness? You're not even tied in, man. I got two hands. <laughs> okay. I'm going to be, with this hand, tarring this, this area right here. It's called a hound, and the hound is attached to, you know, all of this stuff. 